In this lesson, I will explain the settings of user preferences. Go to edit user preferences. The first tab is related to the time units, how to present the time units. So this is the units format. If you remember when we dealt with resources, whenever we referred to units, it's actually hours for labor resources. So it will ask you here, do you want to keep it hours? So when you mention something like, let's go to the resources here. So do you want to present everything in hours? Now this is all labors or you want to make it days. So this is how you specify, but by default, but by default, hours are fine. And most of the practitioners are familiar with it. So you do, you would better keep it as it is. So units is similar to hours. Let's so go back user preferences. So now I will keep it hours, but you can change day or week if you want. And here I want to also, you want to show decimals and it will show you here how it will look like. Show unit label. So for every time I want to show the units, which is hours, you want to have this symbol hours beside it. You want to include minutes as well or not? for duration format. So by default, it's days when you go back to the activities and you find the original duration. When you type five, it's five working day. So it is by default, but you want to make it by default. Is it hour or week? But they I think it's fine. And everyone is familiar with it this way. You want to also show the symbol or label. Is it D for day or hours also? Units per time format. So how you want to present it. So if you want to show that, you know, in resources, for example, we mentioned something four per day or four hours per day. So you want to show the number of hours per day, or you want to see that if I have eight hours working a day and I have the units four hours per day. So four hours out of eight hours working a day. So you want to show it as four hours per day or 50%. Also, I think it's it's better to keep it as it is. The second tab is dates. So this is all dates formatting. So this is a sample. So whatever you apply changes here, it will be automatically reflected here. So you want to show the month first or day, month, year. You want to show the timing or don't show. You want to have the year here, four digits or two digits. The third tab is currency. So by default, it's US dollar, but of course you will change it based on your location. You can change it from here. So you have the list of the currencies. And if you want to show the decimals or not for the assistance tab, do you want to show wizards? So what do I mean by wizards? So if we go to activities and I want to create a new activity from here. So this is the wizard. So step by step on how to define and create an activity. And to be honest, later, like there are many steps here. You won't probably need it right now. You will not assign resource right now. So just create the activity later on, add all the activity codes and the resources you want. So I prefer to add it as insert. So let's delete this. I click insert and just work my way in. So it's up to you. Now this is the wizard for the resources. It is the same as well. So do you want assistance? Do you want a wizard or not? You can disable here if you want for the application tab, application startup window. So when you open Promovera by default, it will show you the activities, which is this layout. You can change it to anything else. If you want risk resources, resource assignments. And for the group and sorting, I want to show name and description, not the ID. You have also another option to present the ID and code here. You can also show here the ID and code. So you can do it either way. You can have the option of showing it by default from user preferences. Specify how to display code values, code value or description. You can keep code value if you decided to show the codes from here. So you want to show the code value. And this is for columns. You want to load financial period data or not. You can enable it and select your information if you have financial period and loaded financial period in Promovera.
password for the application resources analysis it will ask you when you click on resource usage profile here so what projects should it reflect so all close the projects except for what if or, or, or just open the projects so it makes sense that you want to do it for the open the projects only and also as i talked before you can always display from here so you can filter by which uh, resources and make sure that this is for the open project it just doesn't make sense that you reflect that for all closed projects in the hierarchy under the enterprise project structure time distributed data for also resource we are all under a resource analysis so under resource usage profile you use remaining early dates of course not forecasted dates because remaining early dates are generated by the logic duration relationships of the schedule forecasted dates it is like manual it is decided on your own you know so if you keep showing information and reporting in your primavera based on forecasted dates on your own so why do you have a schedule at the first place so keep it remaining early dates the interval for tight distributed resource is day by default and also display the role limit based on so when we created the resource we have also resource role we talked about it you can go back to that video and check it if you forget about it so the role limit here is based on the associated or linked primary resource limit as well not another custom rule limit for the rule itself so it's up to you but by default is resources are linked to rules so if i have primary resource limit i have also the same rule limit for the calculations tab we actually talked about it we explained it in previous tutorial and i explained why it's important to always preserve the units duration and units per time for existing assignments not recalculate because we wanna have the duration and in and units independent from each other so if i make it changes to units should it should not affect the duration and vice versa startup filter so when you open the application so by default it will show you all information related to the current project data but for view all data it will have everything in your primavera database like all projects closed or open so it tells you here that if you choose to view all data the application may take longer to start because he, it's loading the data right now so always keep it as it is for the resources also you wanna you wanna use also all data only for resources because sometimes you wanna when you assign the resource you wanna select from global resources so this is everything under user preferences in the next video we will talk about admin preferences